Hi guys, welcome to Enigma 77 Reviews and today is going to be a little bit of a different one. So I have been searching around um, supporting all small YouTubers, some that are bigger than me obviously, but still class as the smaller YouTubers. And I found absolutely loads and I just think it's absolutely fab. I'm not going to mention them all at this minute, but one in particular that I'm going to mention is Beauty Hunter. And the reason why I'm mentioning Beauty Hunter today is she did a review of this item and I thought, wow, that's what I've been looking for for absolutely ages. And you never know who to trust. So she's put it on her, she did a review straight away i was like i'm jumping on that because i want some and um i've not tried this yet as you can see i've not opened it but if you want to go and check her page out it's beauty hunter i will link her down below um and she's a lovely lovely lady uh, very well softly spoken i've enjoyed her videos so um go and check her review out as well of this before i kick into this as well another shout out to the lovely um sparkling princess lynette she's actually doing an 800 subscriber giveaway get on it guys because it's worth the giveaway she's doing the july um oh was jack glossy box yeah july glossy box as a 800 subscriber giveaway all you need to do is to be subscribed to her channel publicly of course um to get special um points into that draw you need to share her giveaway or her page onto your social media i've done mine on twitter i've done it on both facebook's business page and my normal page i've done it on my instagram as well so a massive shout out for that great giveaway so if you want to be in that giveaway i will put the link to that giveaway underneath this video as well so be sure to go and check out sparkling princess lynette let's get her up to 800 guys get this giveaway done and go and check out beauty hunter as well all right without ado let's get on with this so this arrived this morning ordered from ebay super super fast i ordered it i think it was monday which is when i saw um Oh God, it is. When I seen her put the review on. So I was a little bit um, skeptical about this and I'll explain why. Two minutes guys, let me just grab these three items. So the reason I was a little bit skeptical about this was I recently bought three eyeshadows. One was the, the red and I got the black and I got the silver and I got it in the Faira. Now they're not bad but they just didn't do exactly what i thought they would do um i found that this kind of all faded before the night was out and it was just ending up really really patchy so i was a little bit disappointed guys and i don't know if it's something i did wrong but so i wasn't i wasn't blown away by them but when i seen beauty hunter doing her um review for that named product i was like Mm. <coughs> excuse me <coughs> not too sure but when i seen her do it i was like wow yes for me so if you're wondering what the hell this is let me just get it opened so i can show you so this is the foira i never know if i'm saying that right foria 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 Fora. and it's the magnetic lashes guys yes we've seen them advertised on so many different social media platforms always think nah <laughs> don't think they'll work but they actually do so it says here fira luxury lashes look and feel like full beautiful natural lashes these synthetic lashes are easy to apply glue free and comfortable so it says how to apply apply fira magnet eyeliner just in case you think there's no eyeliner. Yes, there is. So it says, apply your eyeliner like you would normally with your top eyeliner. Um, and then it says, add a second coat. This is an important step. Now guys, I actually already have top liner on my eyes already. So I'm hoping that this doesn't make that void. It says, wait a minute or two for the Fira Magnet Eyeliner to become dry. Liner must be dry to magnetize to the lash magnet, which is fine. Starting with the inner corner, gently hold the lashes to eye. This sounds really scary at this point. Lash will jump, okay, to the magnetic liner. Place the rest of the 
lash on the liner so it, it's pretty much like you'd apply your normal everyday lashes with glue really i've actually got a little little thing which is here guys let me just grab it well, i would if there was no glue stuck to it so here's mine so i would probably use the same method and then it says details five magnets on each lash for secure everyday wear reusable for up to 30 wars because <laughs> I probably won't wear these that often it says wind resistant and easy removal so guys this with this was 6 99 I think that is absolutely amazing price I mean the packaging itself is quite nice I like it I like it I really do um I haven't took these out of the package guys and I haven't done this so what I might do now guys is go off camera put the eyeliner on as you can see I have actually got eyeliner on already my mirror is behind the camera today because um, I've got a new camera as you know and the angles really strange so I feel like my camera is here today I might go cockeyed so the mirror is actually behind the camera so I do need to um, go off camera put the eyeliner on and then I'll try and do this on camera um, ignore this guys I have got allergic reaction I'm allergic to metal and I had a necklace on that wasn't real I, it said real silver but within 24 hours I started getting really itchy and sore it's all right around the back of my neck all the way around the side here so don't think that's this is any anything to do with the creams it isn't guys okay I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna get this eyeliner on which let me just show you what it looks like um, I can't see a bat without my glasses, but you can't put eyeliner on with glasses on. Oh, okay. That's quite cute. So this is your eyeliner. And as you can see, it is pretty much your standard way of putting the old fashioned way for me because I've got into the Renaissance pen flick. So I need to get my steady hand ready. And then we'll take these out of the box. So guys, be back in a jiffy. Okay guys, so I put the eyeliner on, so it is very wet. I'm just going to waft it with my Look Fantastic book just to let it dry. Um, it goes on really well. I must have I'm trying not to blink too much guys because I have smudged it and it did go on the top of my... It was like I was cut creasing it. <laughs> so it's easy to put on. I will say it's very, very easy to put on. I'm just going to keep my eyes open really wide. Um, my own kind of um, liners come off my flick. So I'm just going to carry on and put that back it's very very warm today guys so makeup is kind of starting to peel off immensely so um yeah i've applied it really really well um you get a lot of product so be very very careful you don't keep the brush in one place because it will kind of blob just just be very very steady with your hand and just drag it across let that dry and then do it a second this is my second coat that i've got on now guys I will know when it's dried. I'm going to put that back in the box. How much do you get in that? Let's have a look. So it is a really good size. Is it 5mm or 15mm or something? Can't see without my glasses and I can't put them on. So when um, you to put hairs on, it was fab how they just stuck. Um, I think, just give me a minute guys, they're still not dry. I can still see them being a little wet. I will use my tweezers while I'm letting that dry guys I'm just going to quickly go on to something else um I actually ran across to Lidl guys I went into Lidl a couple of weeks ago and they didn't really have that much product in I went in the other day and they had um all L'Oreal products in there for $4.99 which was the the day cream and night cream um but I just grabbed because as you know I'm testing the day creams and night creams from the lower end to the I've, the lowest I've got is Poundland and I'm going to go all the way up to like Elemis and I went quickly and ran in and grabbed the little day cream and night cream because I've got the Aldi which is fab I've got the home bargains which is fab which is like the three main places that I shop on a budget are them three places um I had a look in b and I don't think they had anything in there but I will have a look in the, the big one next time I go these were I think they were about maybe $1.99 or something. They weren't that expensive. So I grabbed, and they're really, really heavy. So it's for the mature skin. This one is with calcium, collagen, Q10, and soya oil. And this one is the same. Argan oil is in this one. This one is the night cream. 
So I'm excited about trying these guys. As you can see, I've not opened them at all. Let me just give you a quick look. Oh yeah, they're quite they're quite nifty. So it's the is it the Sion? Kion? Sion? Kion's like my grandson's name. Cien? Cien, I think it is. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed these because I'm going to start using my Lumine um water. I want to try it because I'm I'm in the middle of trying all the items out now, guys. So I'll try and that. So I got these parts, I think they were 39p. And I picked up more face masks because as you know, along with the creams, I'm trying different wipes as well. These were 39p each. I got a dry and I got um, a sensitive. So that was it, guys. That's just it. I just grabbed them from um, Lidl. So Lidl do do their own brand. Um, theirs is um, CN. And obviously Lacora is Aldi's brand. And I think Dead Sea Minerals is the home bargains. Right, guys. Let me get my mirror. Let's see how this works. I'm quite nervous about this, guys. I've got very, very sensitive eyes. I can't stress how sensitive my eyes are, but let's give this a go. I'm really scared. Okay. Um. Oh my God. Oh my God. So guys, It'd help if I didn't use this actually because there's glue on my stick, so it's not. Oh my god. <gasps> that is just insane. Guys, you can move it. I mean, I've put my magnet all the way to the corner. Guys, I'm not joking, that is just, I've got a hair stuck on my eyelash at the minute. They are quite long, guys. You can cut them down. I think I will trim mine down just a little bit. But look at that. They are immensely long. They're tickling my eye. <laughs> They're tickling, they are literally tickling me. Let me just see if I can just pull them down a little bit. They come off dead easily as well, guys. So you, you can adjust them any time as many times as you want so they are very very long for me so i will cut them down and i think beauty hunter might have already cut hers down but everybody's got a different eye shape <gasps> they just sit on so perfectly and so quick look at that <gasps> guys yes the tickling because i have got um how, how do you explain it my eyelids are quite sunken so if I, if I have a lift here, the, the thingy, but guys, look at that. All right, I'm gonna zoom in closer now, guys, okay? If my mirror's, right, let's come back in the way you were before. Let me just check that I'm in the right place. Right, so, guys, they are literally stuck down. They're not going anywhere unless I really do pull them. You can adjust them any way you want. I mean, this might need moving down a bit more, but guys, look at them. Just look, I mean, I've not perfected the liner. You can take your time putting the liner on to make sure it is at every angle, like the end here and at the four here. So you can have, move these about. They do need cutting down, so I'm going to sit very, very carefully in a minute with my um, cuticle cutters and just nip along because they are mega, mega long for me. They're literally tickling my, <laughs> my, my brow bone at the top. But how beautiful are they? Look, if I look to the side, they really are tickling me. Yeah, so these are the Fira. I'm just like blown away by the fact that these are just stuck on with magnet. Guys, I'm, I am terrible with eyelashes. It's not that I can't apply them, I can. I used to do them. It's easier putting them on other people than it is yourself. Um, these, I mean, these are supposed to be handy, but they just drive me nuts. They're they stick all the time. So I tend to like doing it with my fingers, but guys, just look. You just pull it off, and then the case that it comes in, like so, you just put them back neatly, like that, and then again. And you've still got your eyeliner on there, so you could always put it back on. And then they stick back into the box like that. And then, no, wrong way, actually, this way. Oh, and I'm dropping them on the bloody floor. 
back in the box and I don't look like I've still got the liner on obviously I hope I don't start sticking to anything now but yeah they are fantastic guys they have sold out I do know because I went to buy another pack they have sold out I will put the link on anyway because no doubt they're selling that fast they will bring them back in stock super fast so it's the Fira guys I didn't think too much of the, the eyeshadows, but maybe it was me. Um, it was really hot and so far. So I will give these another go and see what I think. But thumbs up for this, guys. And that is it, guys. Um, yeah, I'm quite chuffed by that. I am really chuffed. So tomorrow I've got um, all my other boxes coming. Don't think I'll be wearing my, my lovely... This wig, guys, is a Chantice wig, by the way. If you want to see the video to this, it, it is on my videos. You can have a look then. Since then, I've perfected my wigs. Um, I've been doing wigs for a very, very long time. But, guys, it's extremely, and I mean extremely humid and warm here today. So, I am absolutely soaking wet. So that's it so guys as well before i go the anastasia lipstick that i did with my mom i had the mauve remember my mom didn't like this color i do i prefer this color to the mauve because as you can tell it matches my hair so me and my mom did a swap before she went so i have now got the rum punch which is what's on my lips at the minute this is the anastasia beautiful color i've had this on guys four hours four hours it does show a little bit but it will dry in a lot quicker and um, because it's probably that warm but look how beautiful that is and it doesn't come off that easily either so i'm happy with that okay guys that is it for today hope you've enjoyed this little eyelash magnetic eyelash thing jump on it guys i am so happy that beauty hunter put this on her page because i would never have known that these were there and um, I'm going to trim mine down very, very carefully and I will invest in more of these. In fact, I might get some from my mum for her Christmas present because she would absolutely adore these. All right, guys, take care of yourself and don't forget to ring the bell. Pop your comments on below and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.